Right, I'm joined here with the famous Chris Reeve. Chris. Famous? Yeah, well, you are on the Carrow Crab, mate. Okay. That was a bloody brilliant win, wasn't it? Yeah, absolutely mahusive. I mean, I think today, um, again, just shows how good we are. Every, a lot of people were starting to doubt the team uh, coming into the game, thinking all oh, Wolves are going to, you know, probably beat us today. And again, you know, it just shows when you back us. You know, the fans today had a massive, massive yeah, role yeah. in the game, and especially the Snake Pit and the Lord Barkley. Um, it was brilliant to see. And I just think today, just it just shows. I just I don't have much to say. It was just brilliant. Yeah. Everyone was brilliant today. Played really well. Why do you think the atmosphere was so good today? Because even when we beat Blackpool, it was sort of a bit down. Not it was a bit dull yeah. today. It was rocking out there, wasn't it? I think it was the hype of the fact that you know if we won, it would create that gap. And likewise, I think the away support at Watford next week, the next Tuesday yeah. will be phenomenal. Yeah. Um, I, I really want to go. Actually, it's a shame yeah. I can't go. But I mean, yeah. So it plays, it plays a massive role. Today, I have to say that um, the main thing to me was Bradley Johnson. Yeah. I think the previous bloke that was on here is insane. I think the man of the match was definitely Bradley Johnson. Yeah. There's no arguments about it. It's the best game he's ever played for Norwich for me, even when he scored uh, two goals in one game. I just thought, you know, he, his passion and his desire and he's heading everything. Yeah. Um, and to be honest with you, if I was Alex Neal um, next season, I'd give him the captaincy. Yeah, yeah. And you can see him. He's actually communicating with Bradley Johnson more than Russ Martin. Mm. Um you know, and I just think it's important that we have someone really vocal like that. And if they're scoring goals and creating them like Bradley, then we're in. It's all about leadership, isn't it, that Bradley showed today. I think the passion, the celebration when he scored that first goal was brilliant. Alex Neal, though, he's, he's starting to really get us, uh, get us climbing up the table, isn't he? He's doing well. Yeah, yeah. Um, I never doubted him. I, th- I, think he's a, I think he's a great manager. I think he's got a fantastic philosophy. The players have totally bought into it, which is really important. Um, and from here, I just think we'll, we'll march on, as, yeah. as Liverpool say, but hopefully we'll, we'll finish the job off. I mean, you've been probably the most positive man to come on these fan cams this season. You must be laughing at us all now who were saying, oh, we were going to finish mid-table. I mean, I, I like to think I'm fairly positive, but when we were sort of going through that really poor patch, I couldn't see us coming out of it. Now, today, Braddy Johnson's performance, amongst others, I'm really feeling positive. So are you still feeling good? Automatics, maybe? Maybe, maybe. I just think, I know it's a bit cliche, but I think just take every game as it yeah. comes. I mean, this is the, the biggest month of the season for us. You know, Watford, then obviously the scum at home. Yeah. Um, and of course, I'll stick to my word, we'll beat them comfortably. Um, yeah, and I, and I look forward to doing the double over Ipswich and rising up further. I think automatics is, is a fair shout. I mean, um, look at some of the teams last season that weren't doing so well and then jumped up right yeah. at the end. So I think we can do it comfortably. We've got the talent. I know we've got a few Ipswich fans watching this channel. They always like to sort of pipe up. If you've got sort of a sentence to say to the Ipswich fans, they're coming here in a few weeks, what would it be? Good luck. <laughs> yeah. Good luck, Is that's that it. Yeah. yeah, good luck. I mean, obviously, we travel to Watford next week. When we beat Blackpool, everyone would say we've got to back this up now. I think you were the, you were the one of the people saying that. Yeah. Charlton scraped it. I mean, we played fantastic, but threw it away. People were saying Wolves is going to be the tough one absolutely dominated them today Watford is another massive game isn't it yeah I mean I, I think Watford's actually bigger than today yeah. now I mean obviously like, it's easy to say that but away from home um, it's a lot more difficult but we'll play with freedom um, you know the, the fans will be very very noisy away um, I've been to Watford it's it's not a, not a yeah. great place to go no offence yeah. so you know I, I'm just in such a positive mood I'm laughing all of you lot really for being so negative because yeah. you know all season we've still had the same players they just needed that leader um, off the, off the yeah. park to control them so yeah well Chris pleasure to see you Thanks, again Jack. cheers see you at Ipswich